Okay, if I'm here at Google I.O. to do one thing, it's to try on these glasses. They look totally normal, but these are actually a set of prototype Android XR glasses. These are developed by Google and Samsung, and since I have started becoming obsessed with smart glasses, these have been at the top of my must-try list. Now, really quick, here's how they work. There's a special light emitter sort of sitting near your right eye. This beams right into a part of the lens called the waveguide that basically just becomes a tiny screen that hangs in front of your face. It is not big. It is maybe two inches or so diagonal, but it is generally enough to show you photos that you've captured with the glasses or your messages that are kind of incoming or outgoing or even uh, your sort of local surroundings as represented by a Google map that sort of moves and rotates as you yourself move and rotate. It's cooler than it sounds. So yeah, you've got a screen, you've got a camera, you also have Google's Gemini AI, which kind of ties everything together. We couldn't try any of the really crazy stuff like the live subtitles that appear when you're chatting with someone in a different language, but we were able to do stuff like ask Gemini to use the camera and figure out what painting we were looking at, and it suggested some books when we looked at an existing pair of books with the camera and asked for what might be thematically similar. I think generally Google has a point. This is clearly not their first go around with face computers, but what really kind of elevates the experience this time is having an AI that you can just kind of naturally interact with. It is genuinely pretty cool, but the problem is you kind of just have to take my word for it. That's the thing about this new wave of smart glasses that are barreling toward us right now. Unless you're the person wearing them in any given moment, the appeal is almost impossible to see. If I'm being completely honest, I also have to say this. If Google and Samsung released essentially this version of smart glasses as a standalone product, I don't know that I would buy it. The specific implementation here, having one waveguide, basically one display, hanging kind of awkwardly in front of your right eye, doesn't feel particularly satisfying. I mean, if big tech is going to make smart glasses work in a big way, you can't half-ass it. And what I tried today, I don't know. I don't want to say it's half-ass, but it's not the experience that I want to buy into. We're close, I can tell, we're really close.